Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we're going to be learning from two mathematics and our topic for today is vectors. Our subtopic is product of positive scalar and a vector. So we will we'll look at a review of what is a scalar uh, because you mentioned it in the lesson you are beginning in this topic and then how are we able to use uh, or to multiply this scalar with a vector. So First of all, we we'll start with the zero vector. So zero vector is where we have a zero displacement. For example, if we want to move from point A to B and back, it will be a zero vector. So for example, this is A. So if we will move from A, B, and B, A, so A, B is a and then b a is the opposite direction which is a if you were to add these two directions because you are adding up the distances that you've covered it would be a minus a which gives us zero so we say that this the total displacement is zero so this is referred to as a zero vector or a null vector and then when you talk about scalar remember we said scalar is a, a vector that has only a magnitude so scalars are usually used uh, when ex for example we have it's like a constant value so let's let's take for example at the initial point of a and the terminal point as d if we were to add up the distance if we were to move from distance a to d we will move from a b plus b c plus c d so it will be a b plus b c plus c d so this would be a plus a vector a plus vector a, which would be 3 vector a. So this value that we are calling 3 is what we will refer to as a scalar. So this, this it means that this distance is repeating itself three times. So that's why we are referring to it as a scalar. So let's look, for example, at different examples of what we are discussing. So given that t is equal to 2a minus b and r is b plus 3a, find in terms of a and b the following vectors. So we have t and we have r. We have been given their representation. So let's look at the vectors that you've been given. So we have been told to look for vector 2t. So you'll notice there is a number that we are multiplying with the vector t. So this number here is what we are referring to as scalar. So we are going to put t and then we take the whole vector t and we said the representation of t is 2a minus b. So when you open up that bracket, it becomes 4a minus 4b. And that is your answer. We haven't been given specific coordinates for this uh, vector, but when we come later on to column vector, it means that we can further work out this question. And we're going to see how we're going to work it out later on. So we find also 2t minus 2r. Now this is a subtraction, but now involving scalar. So 2, the t we said is going to be 2a minus b minus 2 into bracket r, which is represented by b plus 3a. So if you open the bracket, it becomes 4a minus 2b minus 2b minus because minus times minus is this is minus times plus is minus 6a so we put like terms together so it's 4a minus 6b minus 2b minus 2b so 4a minus 6b becomes minus 2 2a sorry not b 2a minus 4b and that is your answer let's do another question 2r minus t. So we are multiplying the r by two, twice and then subtracting it from t. So 2 into bracket r, which is represented as b plus 3a minus t, which is represented as 2a minus b. So this becomes 2b plus 3a minus 2a positive because minus times mi minus is positive b. So this becomes 2b, we put light terms together, 2b plus b plus 3a minus 2a. So this becomes b, 3b plus 3a minus 2a is a, it's 1. 
and that is your answer. All right. Let's now look at a bigger value. So you go, you we will simplify this uh, two or three questions together and see how we're supposed to work it out. So simplify three into bracket a plus two b minus four into bracket five a minus b. So you can see there are some scalar values that we've been given and specific vectors representation. So let's let's write that one more time. So three a minus two b minus four. 5a minus b. So let's open this uh, slowly. So this is going to be 3a minus 6b minus, so 3 times a is 3a, 3 times 2b is 6b minus 4 times 5a is going to give us 15a, 20a, sorry. And then minus 4 times b is going to be positive 4b. Basically, you're multiplying this 4 and a value here that is 1. There's a 1 here. So this is going to be 3a minus 6b minus 20a plus 4b. So we we'll put our light terms together. So we have 3a minus 20a minus 6b plus 4b. And you see how we have put our light terms together. It is important you remember how the minuses and the pluses are coming to be. So 3a minus 20a is going to form minus 17a. Remember we are subtracting a smaller value from a bigger value. So definitely it's going to form a negative value. Then minus 6b plus 4b. So if you look at the number line minus 6b plus 4b, you can go back and check that from one one. So this is going to be minus 2b. This is because we are adding a negative value to a positive value. So it's like we have a debt of 6 and we have paid 4. We still have a debt. It's not done. So the debt is still not over. So this is our answer. So we have represented this vector in terms of a and b by simplifying. As I said earlier, when we introduce the column vector, sometimes we will be given the vector A and the vector B in terms of coordinates. That means we can further work out this question. Let's look at these two questions here. So the first one is 2u minus 3b plus 2 into bracket w minus u plus u plus v. So this is the same as 2u minus 3v plus 2w, we open the bracket, minus 2u plus 3u, we open the bracket, plus 3v. So next you put the light terms together. So 2u minus 2u plus 3u minus 3v plus 3v and then plus 2w. The w is only 1. It's like that. So 2u minus 2u gives us 0 plus 3u is 3u. Then minus 3v plus 3v is 0 because they are cancelling out completely. So plus 2. And that is our answer. Finally, the last question is p minus q plus r minus p plus q minus r. So this is P minus Q plus V minus P. When you open the bracket, plus Q minus V. So this is P minus Q minus P. And then we have minus Q plus Q and then plus V minus V. So P minus P is 0 minus Q plus Q is 0. Plus p minus p. So you get a, a zero vector. So finally, let's look at this question. We're only going to work out the first two, and then you're going to get this back in the app and try to work out the remaining questions with the answers provided. So write the answer write in terms of a, b, c in each of the following. So remember this is a polygon. So we know that this side and this side is the same. So this is a. This is going to be C. Direction must be the same.
so B and then C. It's like that. So QR, so we are moving from Q to R. So Q to R. So you move from QP, it's going to be QP plus PU plus UT plus TS plus SR. So we are moving from this point to this point. So you go around. So QP is minus A plus PU is B plus UT is C vector C plus TS is A plus SR is minus C because it's in the opposite direction. So this is the same as minus A plus A plus B plus C minus C. So A minus A minus A plus A is zero, C minus zero. So we are left with positive B. So let's look at PS. So PS, we are moving from P to S. So we are going to go to PU plus ut plus ts so pu is b plus ut is c plus ts is a and that's your answer so i want you to work out on tq tp tr uq and us just using the same method uh, and then you're, you're going to get the answers in the app you can go to the app and check out what you got if you got the correct answer so that's it for today. Uh, you can get more revision notes and questions also in the app. See you in the next lesson.